Most people don't think about an ambulance until they or someone they love needs one. And in Windsor, one of the EMS vehicles that respond to 911 calls is on its last legs right now. And as Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo explains, they're now calling on the community for some help. When you look at the ambulances at Windsor Emergency Medical Services, one is not like the others. This ambulance is a 2009 uh, Ford Econoline van. It's the oldest rig they have and decade old replacement parts are getting hard to come by. It's approximately got about 150,000 miles on it um, and really almost reached its end of its useful life cycle. Windsor EMS is looking to replace that old ambulance with a bigger one like this, where EMTs and paramedics can work on both sides of the patient. It's just too many people in here um, when you try to work in a smaller ambulance like this. So what's it going to cost? For somewhere between um, $150,000 and $200,000 to just re uh, replace the ambulance. Um, because of new um, federal safety standards, there's, uh, you have to put in a special securing device for the um, stretcher itself, so that's an additional $50,000. President Terrence Greaves says they've tried replacing the engine, but he says the nonprofit agency has run out of cost-cutting options. There's only so long that you can kind of put a Band-Aid on it, you know, no pun intended. Windsor EMS is asking for donations from the people who usually call them for help and they've been calling a lot more. This year we had the most amount of calls in the history of the organization. Um, we were about 4,300 total calls uh, for service. Adding wear and tear to the vehicles that are supposed to get you to the hospital as quickly and safely as possible. No more just picking people up and taking them to the hospital. We're providing care um, that helps to make you have a better outcome. But those better outcomes can only happen when they have the right equipment. If we don't have the vehicles, then we have to not have that response and we're not available uh, when, you, when um, somebody needs it. In Windsor, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.